All right, just a quick video today on a new API, the eyedropper API. Now this is the feature where you can move your mouse all over the screen and pick colors of individual pixels. So it sort of zooms in so you can get a close view of each individual pixel and you can extract colors. So programmatically with JavaScript, we can do this now. Now, Chrome, Edge and Opera, as you can see from caniuse.com, are the only ones that currently support this but hopefully Safari and Firefox will be working on their own implementations of this in the near future as well. All right, now you can see here that it's not supported in Android browser, Firefox for Android. The mobile browsers are not going to be supporting this, uh, very unlikely, because it does require a mouse. You're moving your mouse around on the screen to pick a color. So this is going to be a desktop, laptop type API. All right. So my, mid, my page that I've got, I've got a button that I can use to start picking it. Uh, I've added a very colorful image from unsplash.com so I can pick individual colors. And just a little note, we can use the escape key to actually abort from this. So you can click on it to pick the color or click on escape to abort. So let's take a look at the code. In my page, there's my button, BTN Go. That's going to let me pick the color my image, and I've got a span with the ID result. This is where I'm going to be placing a color swatch and the actual hex code of that color. All right, jumping into the JavaScript. So our result span, so output, this is where we're going to write the message. When I click the button, this is what I'm going to do. The first thing I need to do is I need to know, hey, does this browser support the eyedropper API. So that's just going to be a simple if statement. And like any feature detection, you just look to see, hey, do you have something called eyedropper inside of the containing object, which in our case is window. So if we have that, if eyedropper is in window, we've got this thing. If not, then we're going to exit. We're going to exit our function. But I'm going to write something inside that output window to say, sorry, you don't support it, just to make sure we have something there. So output text content there we go okay now if we get past this point it means it is supported and it's actually a pretty simple thing to use there's a constructor so let's create something called dropper Call the constructor method, which is just eyedropper, if I could spell it. There we go. Um, there is also the ability to cancel this. We can abort it. So I will create an abort controller for this. All right, and we'll come back to talking about the abort controller in a minute. Once you have instantiated the eyedropper, we can call the open method. So we've got a dropper and it's got an open method. This method is going to return a promise waiting for the user to click on something to pick the color. When it does do that, then we're going to get a result object. It doesn't have to be called result. That's just my variable name. But this result object really only has one property inside of it. So let's just do a console.log and result dot s rgb hex. So this is the color that is being picked. So the result object has this one property. That is the color that's being picked on the page. So let's start with just that. We'll jump into the page. When I click the button, there we go. There's the eyedropper. And in my console, there it was. There was the color that I picked. There's another color, another color, another color. Simple enough. So we have the dropper, we instantiate it, call the open method. Now the abort controller, the thing to exit from this, if you want to be able to quit, you need to pass in this as an option. So signal is the name of the property and our abort controller object that we built has a property called signal as well. We pass this in. So we're passing an object into the eyedropper instance with one property signal, and it is basically just tied back to this abort controller. And that's going to allow us to track when it gets canceled, or we can actually call 
a method on our abort controller. So if you have a timeout, if you've got uh, some other control on the page, some other key that you want to listen to other than escape, we can just call this method. So abort. On this object, you can call abort and that will cancel the eye picker, eyedropper. All right, to display this stuff, we've got this color. All I'm going to do is inside my output element, I'm going to write out the hex value and I'm going to set the color and I'm going to set it on the border. In my CSS, what I did here was I set a border on the left hand side. You can set it to white or some other color, but white because my background's white or transparent like this. So the border on the left hand side, it's going to be 20 pixels wide and I've got a padding of 20 pixels as well. So a 20 pixel swatch and then a 20 pixel space and then the hex code will be written. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And inside of here, we write out the hex code and then we want to change. So on that span, style dot border left color. We're going to set that instead of being transparent, it's going to be this result.srgb hex. Okay, pick a color, click, there we go. So there's the color swatch as the border, and here's the text. And we can do this again and again every time we do it. We're picking a new color, changing that swatch. But if we escape, we're going to write a message here. If that we hit the escape key and we exit from the picker, we want to write something down here to say, hey, we've exited and we want to get rid of this color and we don't want that color there anymore. So there is on any promise, we want to make sure we have a catch. So catch output dot text content. We'll put out the error and do the same thing with the style output style dot border left color but we're going to set it to transparent instead of any particular color so there's a color click again and i'm going to click the escape key there we go so we got rid of the color swatch by changing the color to transparent and this is that abort signal going so the abort error, we hit escape. The abort error is handled by the catch on our promise, writes out what happened. And that's it. That is the eyedropper API. That is all the methods, everything that you need to know. So have some fun with that. Just bear in mind, you have to do this because it is not supported everywhere yet. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.